Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys, and we're due for a big rainstorm today, so I thought this would be a good time to change out the old wiper blades on the minivan and to do a review about this newer type of blade called the beam wiper blade that claims it can do a much better job of keeping the water or snow off your windshield. I'm going to change out the blades and then go for a drive in the rain. Epic Review this is the Rain-X Latitude Blade. Most of the big companies that make wiper blades do offer a beam style of blade, but they are a bit more expensive. These, I needed a 22 and 26 inch. They went for about $17 and the longer blade was just under $20. So you can buy the traditional frame type blade for a lot less, but if these do a better job, they may be worth the extra money. Here's a beam style blade and you'll notice it's rather floppy and bendy, which if you've only seen the traditional type of wiper blades, they don't do this. They have a metal frame on the outside and then a rubber inset and that metal frame on the outside is what pushes the blade against the window. This one actually uses an internal metal spring frame and it, it keeps more or less this shape, but the reason it's flexible is that windshields now are so curved, the traditional type of wiper blade doesn't, supposedly, doesn't do as good a job of holding firm against it and wiping the water away. That's why these are more expensive and supposed to be better. Sadly, there's not just one type of connector to connect wiper blades to cars. There's a variety of them, so you need to know for your specific car how to take off and put on the wiper blade. Fortunately, the Honda Odyssey, it's pretty simple, but they do include instructions to cover most different scenarios, and they give you some other mounting hardware. Here's the traditional frame type of blade. I just took this off of the driver's side of the Honda Odyssey, and it does have some flex, but as you can see, it's not nearly as much as with the beam type of blade. This is what comes installed on most cars, and I think most people probably still buy this type of blade because it is quite a bit cheaper. This original Honda Odyssey blade is about two years old. They generally tell you to replace the blades every six months to a year. Of course, the blade companies tell you six months is good, but I think that's sort of like the oil change companies telling you you need to change your oil every 3,000 miles. Works out better for them if you do, but you may not really need to. The best thing is to watch the wipers if they're missing areas of the windshield, if they're doing that chattering where they chit 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 and that, that sort of thing, it's time to replace your wiper blades. Here in Central Texas, however, we're going into the fourth year, I think, of the drought, and so the wiper blades have hardly gotten any use. Now, it doesn't mean they won't wear out, just being out in the sun during the summer, the rubber that the blade itself is made out of, it, it, it hardens, and so once it gets stiff, it loses the elasticity that holds it on the windshield when it's wiping. So you do have to replace them, even if you live in the desert. I bought our Rain-X Latitude Blades over at Walmart, but they have them in most department stores and auto supply stores. I did find out that they're cheaper online by about a couple dollars a blade, so I'll put a link to that deal down below this video. But I'm going to go install this now on our minivan and show you, it takes about 10 seconds if you have this type of connector to take the blade off and put another blade on. If you're fortunate enough to have that type of connector, you can easily do this yourself. But I have noticed that a couple of the auto supply stores, they do offer to come out and replace your blades in the parking lot if you buy your blades there. The key to attaching and removing this blade from a Honda Odyssey or another vehicle with a similar type attachment mechanism is the little metal loop on the end of the wiper arm goes right around here. When you slide it on, there's a little piece in here that pops up. And when you need to remove it, you have to press that down and slide it off. I'll try to show you here with one hand. So here's the loop on the end of the metal wiper arm and I'm going to slide this in like this till it clicks and it is now attached and then to remove it underneath of here is that little tab you've got to press with your thumb. I do need two hands to remove it. The little tab is right here. And it's off. There's also a protective plastic piece that covers the tip of the wiper blade, the part that contacts your windshield. So don't forget to remove that when you're finally ready to lay the wiper down onto the windshield. Now installed on the driver's side is the beam style blade. And over here on the passenger side, we have the frame style blade. All we need now is a little bit of rain. Not a whole lot of difference in the cleaning quality of the wipers, but if you take a look on this side, you can see there's like leftover smearing of water after the wiper does its pass.
without so much rain, just a little drizzle, you can see how this side is much smearier than this side. Well, it looks like the sun's coming back out already. Our three inches of rain and heavy thunderstorms turned into two-tenths of an inch of scattered showers, but hopefully that was enough video to give you an idea of the fact that these beam-type blades, they really do clean better than the traditional frame type, but it's not a world of difference, and you're looking at about twice the price, so you have to make that decision for yourself. But I can tell you, though, my wife, who is not at all interested in things automotive, we switched her Honda Accord over to the beam-type blades maybe about four years ago. She will not go back to using these. She says for her it makes such a difference and she drives out in the east part of the county where the speed limit is 85 miles an hour. Really, that's the speed limit. So she says it makes such a difference in keeping the windshield clear that she'll only use the beam-type. So when your wiper blades next need replacing, you might want to try out the beam type blade, see if it makes enough improvement to be worth the extra cost. Again, if you'd like to read more about this type of blade, I have the link down below this video. And so I've got brand new wiper blades installed, but it may be months before it rains again. The only time I may end up using them is coming out of the car wash. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy.